Well, yo, so welcome back. Uh, we are back on dry land for now. And uh, I'd say that that battery has been quite a success. So in the end I end up getting about an hour's worth of uh, low speed motoring out of it. Um, the higher speed was making the motor uncomfortably hot so I decided that was probably a bad idea given that it's a 12 volt motor and those were running 16 volts um, on 4S. Uh, the other thing is an hour's good but it's not amazing and the fact is I have a much bigger battery here that I really should be using. This little beastie is a 14S pack. 14S 5P 18650 pack which I'm currently charging up. Now, if 4S was a bit much for that motor then surely 14S is going to set fire to it. And um, So we needed to step that voltage of around 50 to 58 volts down to 12 volts. And what I found was this uh, little online um, regulator, little buck regulator, uh, designed for golf cart buggies of all things. But apparently it's good for 12 volts up to 30 amps. So we have to find somewhere to mount this bloody thing on the kayak. And I'm going to put it where this goes, the fishing rod holder, because I'm never going to fish. Fishing is, I don't understand fishing. Well, I get it, but it's just not for me. So remove that. And I've done a little bit of measuring up, literal back of, back of envelope calculations. And um, I'm going to try and CAD this up, make up a little adapter and 3D print it to go where the fishing rod holder goes. So we can mount our e-bike battery on the kayak. Let's get to the computer. Yes, I'm using Tinkercad. I'm not a real CAD person. That's good enough for what we're doing today. And look at that, there she is. Right, pretty simple. Just gotta get the measurements right. Let's print her up. And here she is, all installed. Um, I got a bit excited and already attached it without showing you the final print, but actually came out surprisingly well. So this is a spare mount thing for the e-bike battery I've got. And over here, this is our little 12 volt reg sealed unit. It's completely sealed, so figure a bit of salt water. As you can see, it's already been splashed once. I may have prepared this earlier. But yeah, we've just got our 6060, little fuse there. Um, and that's just going to go to the motor. Rightio. So one last thing. To keep the splashes off. Just got this little tub from the $2 shop. It just sits like that. Like I bought one. Alright, let's get out there. <clears throat> well, this is working quite well. We've gone for one hour, I'm about 4.3 k's up the river, and that's going against the tide, which is ripping us along reasonably quickly, as you can see. And uh, we've used about 25% of the battery, so I'd say that's a win all round. It's quite interesting paddling, um, paddling with the motor. It doesn't really want to track straight, so you're either constantly having to adjust the motor, or um, what I tend to do is just Directed with the, with the paddle. This thing, once it starts to turn, when its nose starts to turn, it'll just accelerate quite fast. So, I don't know, maybe you could put some stabilizing fins in or something. That's another project for another video. I'm pretty happy with this. Now, on a bigger motor. We'll have to discuss that when I get back on land. Anyway, 